Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use DevOps in Visual Studio Team Services and Xamarin. The goal here is to run our unit tests. So we'll build a CI pipeline that starts by getting the source code for the, the Xamarin application and my unit test project from GitHub. Then we'll restore the NuGet packages for all the projects. Then we'll build the Android project, then build the unit test project in order to generate the DLL. And the fifth step will be running the DLL for the unit tests that will run all our unit tests in VSTS. The final step will be copying the generated APK and the unit test results, the TRX file into a persistent folder, which we call it drop. So the CI pipeline we're gonna build looks like this one here it starts by getting the source code from GitHub. It will restore the NuGet packages. Then it will try to build the Android project. Then we'll try to build the unit tests project as it should be built separately. Then it will run those unit tests coming from the DLL generated by the previous task. At the end, it will publish all the DLLs and the result of the unit test execution at the uh, drop folder, which is a persistent folder. So to start with here, I show you my application. Here it is an application that I call it perfect body. It will cal calculate your uh, body mass index right here. So I do have a view model that takes the weight, the height, and it will invoke the command calculate um, BMC uh, index and here it will tell you if your index is uh, underweight, normal weight, uh, 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 overweight or obesity. I also do have unit test projects in order to uh, test this project. So here I have that project right here in Visual Studio and I'm writing some unit tests in order to verify uh, that my view model behaves as I expect. So right here, I'm giving some values to test with the height and the weight. Then I'm checking the output of the uh, command. Now I want to execute those unit tests in VSTS and also uh, get or run the uh, Xamarin application. We can do actually execute these unit tests from uh, Visual Studio by going to uh, Test Explorer here and click Run All, which will execute all those unit tests. But we want to automate the process for that. We'll be using the STS. So here it is. The application takes those two parameters, then click Calculate BMI, and it will give you the value for that. This app is hosted on GitHub. So if you go here to this GitHub repo, you will find the source code for this application. Let's now learn how to create this CI pipeline. Here I have already created a VSTS account. And from here you can find all my projects. I go and create a new project to start with. So you just give it a name and then you click create and your project will be created immediately. For me, I'll go and choose a project that I have already created. And from here, you can go to uh, the dashboard to check your uh, builds and your tasks. And you can see that here inside code, here I don't have any code hosted on VSTS because my code is on GitHub. And if I go to build and release, you can see that here we do have this, um, those uh, CI pipelines that we have created in the previous videos. And now I want to create a new CI pipeline by clicking the new button right here. And then I choose the Xamarin.Android template, this one here, click apply. And here it will generate a sample or a template pipeline for, for us. So those one have multiple tasks here. So we'll start by removing the tasks that we don't need to use. For example, here, the Xamarin component store. Uh, we are not using Xamarin components in my project. So 
no need to for this task so i'm going to remove it we are also not um we don't want yet to run our ui tests in xamarin test cloud so i'll go and remove it maybe in uh, next videos we'll show how to do that we do have the task for signing the apk we don't need that right now so i'll go and remove it and only here we'll have those uh, steps for getting the sources so let's check those right here so we'll get this source code for the application from github so i select github then here if you are running this for the first time then you might have here a blue button for authorization so you click on it and then it will ask you to uh, access to github in order to give or to grant access to vsts in order to access your github account so it can create um, some configurations in order for vsts to get notified and every time a new code is pushed to your github then i have choose the github account and i choose the project and here my project call it perfect perfect body devops so i choose that one and here i only have one branch which is the master branch let's move to the second step here restoring the nuget packages and to restore the nuget packages with xamarin android we need to specify the version for the latest one right here the third step is building the Android project. So right here, it will go to my CS. It will look for my uh, CS project for Android by searching the um, pattern or the regex expression that meets this one right here. It will look for any project that have the Droid uh, keyword in it. So make sure if you are not calling your projects uh, if your project doesn't have that Android keyword, then you will need to change this one here. Then it will build my unit test project. And right here, what it is doing, it is looking for my unit test projects, and then it will try to build them. At the end, it will publish the DLLs and the results inside the drop folder. But here we do have only the task for building the unit test, but we need also to, to run those unit tests. So how to do that? We'll go and add a new task. So let's click add task. And here we have all the tasks here. Let's choose the category test. And let's get and choose Visual Studio test. Let's add that task here. It should be added after the build. So make sure it is after the build. You can, of course, replace it right here. It is after building the test project. And then here it is pre-configured. So it should just work fine. So now let's um, let's uh, save and queue this CI build. But here I do have some... Uh, here in the process, of course, we need to choose the agent that will run our CI pipeline. Here, I always choose the hosted VS 2017. Once we have done that, now we can go save and queue this build queue. And now it started running this CI pipeline from VSTS. But here, if I go to VSTS, at the end you can see that here i do have a warning telling me that no results found to publish actually here it doesn't find it didn't find the dll for my unit test project why is that if we go back here to edit the build definition you can see that in the configuration we have configured here the uh, build to build the uh, unit test project and here we do have a config here telling to uh, put the DLL inside this output path. So what we'll do here is that I'll go and check where VSTS is looking for the DLL for my unit test project. So here we do have this search folder parameter. It is here searching in another folder other than the one in which my unit test was generated in so what it what i will do is i will 
delete this search folder and also delete the config here for the output path inside MS build arguments. Then what will happen is that VSTS will look for the unit test project inside or we look for any project that or any DLL that has the keyword test inside of it. Here if you pay attention at my project right here you can see that in Visual Studio I have two projects actually one for unit test projects and other one for UI projects and both have their project name contains the keyword tests. So that means VSTS will try to uh, run both tests. And here I want only to run the unit test project. So what it will do, I will say just run or look for unit test projects. This will exclude my UI test project because it is not called unit test. Let's now save and queue again. Hit Q. Now if we take a look at the VS test task, we can see that here our tests are running successfully. So if I go to my build and from here choose my tests, actually you can see right from here that we have the tests executed uh, running successfully. And we can see more details if we go to tests here if i choose all the tests then you can uh, see the results of executing my uh, both tests which the same those tests are coming from my uh, visual studio project right here so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you